leadership provided by uh, the newly wed Mr. Tohenale. Uh, Louisa Wall. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, inga mana, inga reo, ro rangatira ma, nga uri o ngati fatua, mi ngati manu hiri, te na koto, te na koto, te na tato katoa. Um, it's my pleasure to stand as a member of the Māori Affairs Select Committee and the Member of Parliament for Manu Rewa. And this is the first reading of the Ngāti Manu Hiri Claim Settlement Bill and the Ngāti Whātua Rāko Claim Settlement Bill. I want to acknowledge um, Joe and Grant and the whānau who have travelled here uh, tonight um, to share in this, this process of reconciliation, which I think is a very important process as our country moves forward. Uh, firstly, I'd like to focus on the whānau from Ngāti Manuhiri. And I want to talk a bit about the whakapapa. So Ma Ngāti Manuhiri are the descendants of the Tūpuna Manuhiri, the eldest son of Maki, and as such are affiliated to the broader Te Kauero Confederation. I want to acknowledge Ngāti Manuhiri also has close whakapapa connections with Ngāti Wai. And it is through these connections that Ngāti Manuhiri have been represented on the Ngāti Wai Trust Board for the last 70 years. So today, the Ngāti Manuhiri community um, affiliates to Omaha Marae at Pākiri. The first Ngāti Manuhiri claim to the Waitangi Tribunal, Y122, was lodged by Lely Parone Hayden and Howie Brown on the 24th of October 1989. It was subsequently withdrawn. Four further claims, Y244, Y532, Y1539 and Y1811, were lodged by members of Ngāti Manuhiri regarding historical grievances relating to Ngāti Manuhiri generally, and three additional claims, Y280, Y487 and Y567, were lodged that relate specifically to the alienation of Hauturu, Little Barrier Island, and this settlement addresses all those Y claims. This bill gives effect to the deed of settlement in, uh, entered into by the Crown in Ngāti Manuhiri on the 21st of May 2011 for the final settlement of the historical claims of Ngāti Manuhiri. These interests will be governed by the Ngātu Manuhiri Settlement Trust. And I had a look on the web and I um, was very interested to note that on the 1st of December 2011, a man by the name of Lady Haddon was returned as a trustee. So I want to congratulate him on being returned as a trustee. Uh, and obviously you were there at the beginning, you're there now and you'll be there into the future as the fruition of the settlement um, happens. Ngāti Whātō Rāke um, are a collective group composed of individuals who descend from the ancestor Tupiriri and are members of one or more hapu of Ngā Oho, Ngā Uri Ngūtu, Nguru, Nguru Tū and Te Tā U. Uh, apologies for my pronunciation, um, my Tūwharetō and Waikato pronunciation. Uh, they exercise customary rights predominantly in relation to the primary area of interest of Ngāti Whātua Orake. There was an agreement in principle in 2006, and I want to acknowledge that for six long years, the mana whenua, the iwi of Tamaki Makoto have worked together. So yes, there has been a collaboration between the Crown and Māori, but actually there's been a greater collaboration between the mana whenua groups across Tamaki Makoto. And I want to acknowledge the work that we have done as a people to move this process forward. It has taken six long years of collaboration, but this is the beginning of that collective process. So I want to acknowledge all the work, all the blood, sweat and tears that I know have gone in to creating the settlement that is before us today. Um, in conclusion, um, th this is the second series of treaty um, settlement bills that have been before the House this year. And um, as you can see, it is an area that we have cross-party support. It's not bipartisan. Actually, it's all of uh, this House. All members of Parliament, all parties are with an Aotearoa that want to see the resolution of historical treaty grievances. And it is an acknowledgement that our tangata whenua, our Indigenous peoples, have um, been um, 
adversely affected by colonisation. And so this is all of the House working together to make sure that we give resources back to iwi groups so that, as Shane said, you can move forward and start focusing on the future and how we can create legacies for our children. I do want to highlight um, words spoken by um, the Honourable Christopher Finlayson, the Minister for Treaty of Waitangi Negotiations, on the 16th of February 2012, during the first reading of the first series of treaty settlement bills. And he said, and I quote, Iwi have offered to forego full compensation in order to contribute to the future development of New Zealand. End quote. He also thanked them, thanked you, for your generosity in reaching settlement. We can never give you back what was taken. But what we want to do is give you back land, some resources, uh, hopefully some contracts, hopefully uh, what you need to grow a base to support your members. And um, what I do want to say is that in that process of generosity that iwi have exhibited, I hope that ethic of generosity extends to all New Zealanders and that we don't have any issues from other groups wanting to contest the settlements that you have reached. So I look forward to my participation in this treaty process as a member of the Māori Affairs Select Committee. And I thank you very much for making the effort to come down to Wellington out of your rohe. And I wish you safe travels. And um, kia kaha, kia toa, kia manua nui. Kia ora. Uh, Mayor Thank you very much, Mr Speaker.